Tesla cyber truck reveal had a few cracks. Christina Parts Davalos with the details now. Christina. I feel like that's an understatement, but Tesla yeah. wanted you to trade in your classic pickup truck for what is the cyber truck, but really looks like a giant trapezoid on wheels or a piece of art. The grand reveal of the electric picker, pickup truck didn't go as planned in California yesterday. But before we even get to that, let's start talking about some of the specs on this vehicle that you're seeing on your screen right now. It's stainless steel, bulletproof. It's supposed to, according to Musk, perform better than a Porsche 911. It goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds, seats up to six people, and the most expensive version that uh, can actually pull 14,000 pounds. The feature price of this, the basic one, though, is about $39,900. Uh, um, and it's pretty much in the same range of the Ford F-150. But we really want to get to what went wrong, <laughs> because that's so much more entertaining. So let's take a look and a listen uh, at Elon Musk. Listen in. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well... Maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah, so the person saying that was a little too hard was Elon Musk. The person sl uh, smashing the car right now is the design lead. So it, it, let's give them credit. With the sledgehammer, there were no scratches on the car. But the I moment, see some dents, though, with the hammer. Well, I everybody's saying dents. I wasn't there, so, but, but it's the metal ball. And it didn't. It not only happened once, but they were like, oh, no, we're going to do it again. We're going to try it again. Takes the ball, throws it again, shatters the car. Obviously, this is not what uh, yeah. Musk <laughs> expected. Listen Can to what I just, he has to say. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> fix it in post. Fix it in post is pretty much what he said there. <laughs> and I, I know it's a funny thing, but if we were to make this uh, just talk about the market as a whole, you can, we know that Ford does have dominates uh, the pickup truck market, uh, but they too are going to be developing their own electric F series truck. And then GM, which makes Chevy as well as GMC pickups, they're also putting out their own line of electric trucks in 2021. So you have competition in the field. But to go back to that video, despite all of this, the internet is obviously having a field day with this. So let's bring up some of those tweets that we've seen. The first one, I'm going to tell my kids this is the Cybertruck. Or no, this one here is actually says, I'm going to tell my kids this is okay. So this is the Cybertruck. That's a beautiful red uh, version of it, but obviously not Tesla. And then another one, a lot of them are saying, um, I'm going to tell my kids. I don't understand what the fuss is about the Tesla Cybertruck. It looks okay to me. And that's a doorstop, by the way. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a pickup truck. Having gotten my, driver, like one. my, got, gotten my driver's license at age 16 and a Ford F-150 pickup truck, it's not a pickup truck. Oh. It's mentally look like, according to Elon Musk, something from Blade Runner. Exactly. And if you look at that, when they threw the metal ball at the glass, it says demo of armor glass. Instead of demonstration, that yeah. meant demolition, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the funniest part was what he said when the Musk said, well, maybe that was too hard. As if they practice, okay, only throw the metal ball five miles an hour. Ten miles an hour, it's, it's, it's well, going to break. So they, they did throw a lot of things, but just to your point, that raises a big question. What is their target market? Is the people that have the pickup trucks or is it the hardcore Tesla fans? It's the hardcore Tesla fans, at least initially, because the, it, the first model off the production line is estimated to come out in late 2021. And we know their history and missing those yeah. um, those tar those launch targets. So you're gonna have to wait a long time for this. All right. We will we will be watching. Great stuff, Christina. <laughs> Thank you.